Let's talk about the Prada Crystal Re-Edition, how to style it and what fits. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Celeste. We talk about all things luxury shopping and handbags. If you love those things, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. I do post videos every week. So I've had this bag for a few months now, and if you haven't seen the first impressions, how I ended up saving a few hundred dollars, I'll leave the video up here for you guys. I've had this bag for a few months and I feel like it's kind of difficult to style sometimes. Like I love this bag, don't get me wrong. I love this bag and I feel like on camera, like this isn't even doing it justice, but it's kind of hard to style because your outfit needs to be a little bit more like plain um so the bag can speak for itself you don't want a very like overpowering outfit with this bag it's just like too much so i figured i'd put together a few outfits for you guys a few different ways that i have worn this bag and then um hopefully that'll help you especially if you're thinking about getting this bag or you already have this bag and don't know how to style it so starting off with like the more of the casual side of how i would wear this um i actually wore this like the other night we went to go get dinner and um i really like this so I have a black pair of oversized like boyfriend cut dad jeans from Abercrombie. They are a little bit distressed, but not like overly distressed. And then I also have this like knit sweater um, top. And I feel like it's really cute because the neckline is actually a little bit different. Then I wore this bag. I did carry my leather jacket. Um, and you'll notice with quite a few of these outfits, I feel like this bag plus a leather jacket just like puts the whole outfit together. I can't explain it. Um, and so I did carry this jacket with the bag. Um, I, it ended up being too hot, so I didn't wear the jacket, but, um, I thought this was so cute and like perfect for dinner. Um, and we weren't going anywhere like super fancy. We we're just getting like pizza. Um, uh, but I thought this was a really cute outfit. Next, moving on to this outfit with a white oversized shirt with some leather pants I feel like this plus the bag and like throw on some like sunglasses or like a nice accessory like is she an influencer is she famous like do we know her like I feel like it kind of just gives off that vibe like a very like cool girl but like effortless vibe next I actually wore this to Christmas um so I had the tweed dress um which i threw on a sweater over but depending on kind of the weather especially if it's getting a little bit hot um you can either throw on like a sweater on top or do um like a shirt underneath like a t-shirt or a bodysuit underneath which is kind of how i styled it here um and i think this was perfect um so i wore this with some boots for christmas and then with the bag so it was a little bit dressier um kind of like more of a christmas outfit and then i did wear the gucci tights with it i'll leave the instagram story here um i didn't want to put on the gucci tights because i try to only wear those for special occasions but you kind of get the point um i feel like this this dress plus um the bag like the bag was still able to speak for itself but it wasn't just like a plain black plain like white and black outfit if that makes sense moving on to kind of a more like date night outfit um i have been loving this abercrombie midi like sweater dress and um i thought this was so cute like black on black with a leather jacket as well um i actually wore this to a like double date and i think this was actually the first outfit that i wore with the bag um and i thought this was so chic and um it's very simple like i when i'm like dressing for outfits i feel like I'm very like simple when it comes to clothes. So then I can decide which bag that I want to wear. Um, so I thought this would match perfectly. And even if you don't have the crystal re you can wear this with like any outfit. And it just looks like, and I feel like this outfit just looks very like chic. Like it looks like you tried, but in reality, like you didn't have to try very hard. Another way to style this again with the uh, like sweater dresses. I've been really into sweater dresses recently. And like pretty much my two, like three colors that I've been wearing is like beige, white, and black. So uh, call me boring. I don't know but um I really like this sweater dress and then again if it gets cold like throw on a jacket over um but this with like the the dress and the bag I feel like it looks really good next moving on to more like semi-formal outfits I don't know what kind of events you guys are going to but like maybe y'all have places to go I don't know um I feel like this would be a great like um cocktail party outfit um if you have a dress um I really like this like satin silk um like cowl neck dress i feel like those always look really effortless um but still like look put together so a simple black dress with the bag it speaks for itself right so it keeps it simple and there's still something that you're able to look at um but you don't look like 
over the top because sometimes you don't want to be overdressed for an event too I don't know I get like paranoid about being overdressed for an event maybe that's just me so last but not least is kind of like the formal version and I figured I'd throw this in here because like I'm going through this right now. I don't know if you guys are going through this, um, but my friend's wedding is next month and her wedding is formal. And um, again, this was kind of like my first like wedding as like an adult. Like I've been to other weddings like as a kid, but like my first wedding as like an adult. And um, I didn't know what to wear. And um, so I picked out a few dresses from Lulu's. And if you want to see like all the other alternatives, it's like on my TikTok, but like I ended up choosing this black dress. And um, the reason being, I feel like honestly, I really wanted to wear the crystal re-edition and um, it just like was perfect for the dress. So this was kind of what I had in mind. It's this like plain black dress like mermaid cut and I feel like it it makes me look skinny like is she skinny I don't know um and so so um I figured it looked really well and then also I can pair it with the bag and then it's not like over the top but I am still able to use the bag I feel like the bag is great because you can wear it as a casual bag but then also dress it up for events like weddings. So that's kind of how I was able to style it. I do really like this and um, it is absolutely such a stunning, stunning bag. Now let's move on to what fits in the bag. I feel like a lot of people want to know, especially before you buy the bag, what fits in the bag. And I, I usually watch these videos before I buy something too, because like sometimes bags are like small, but they're deceivingly spacious. Like my Palm Strings Mini, she's small, but she like fits a full size water bottle. And you would have been like never known that. Um, versus like some bags are small and they're just small. Um, so we'll do a what fits in the bag and um, she's not as deceiving as the Palm Strings Mini, but she is quite spacious. Um, I do have to give you guys a warning and I kind of mentioned this in like the review first impressions video as well, that the bag sags a little bit because it just it's like satin right so there isn't a lot of structure to it but I have been like waiting for an organizer it like hasn't come yet um but the organizer should help with the bag um and the sag but keep that in mind I wouldn't overstuff the bag especially like if I'm going to like an event I wouldn't overstuff it but um keep that in mind if you are looking to get this bag um that it does have a little bit of sag so even if you can spit, fit this much stuff in it maybe you shouldn't Okay, anyways, let's get into it. Okay, here she is. So I already packed this bag and I figured that I would just show you what's inside. So a scrunchie. Um, and then of course we have our hand sanitizer, COVID things. Then we have our hand lotion. I really don't carry around this, but I figured it fits in here. Um, a pack of tissues, of course. Um, and then we have our card holder. Um, this one's from Chanel. I recently got this. I love it. Um, a mask, again, COVID things. You never know. Um, and then we also have our key pouch, our Louis Vuitton key pouch, which is definitely way overpriced now. Um, a lippy. And then we also have um, our key fob for our car. And then we have some sunglasses. I know you are going to come for me because I don't put it in a case, but that's okay. And then we have our AirPod Pros. Definitely um, pretty spacious bag. Again, I didn't overstuff it, but this is everything that fits. And um, so you can kind of see here, this is everything. And that sums it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and this was helpful for you. If the clothes are still available, I'll leave them linked in the description box below. But you guys know I get like probably 95% of my closet from Abercrombie. Like that's not sponsored. Like I legitimately like spend hundreds of dollars there every month. Um, but I'll try to leave everything in the description box below if it's still available. If it's not available, I'll try to find something similar. I'll leave another video for you guys here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.